Welcome back guys. Autumn is here and behind me is a hawthorn tree. A few weeks ago I went out in the woods and I harvested some hawthorns or haws to make a really awesome sweet and spicy barbecue sauce for your chicken wings. Stay tuned. Now that the leaves have mostly fallen off this tree you can see the hawthorn berries or haws very distinctively. A key thing about hawthorn are these very sharp thorns. So when you're foraging be careful you don't want to get yourself in the eye with one of these. Here's what one of the leaves looks like. It's a little bit brown tinged now, but you can kind of see it's a single leaf with a very sharply toothed edge. Let's head to the kitchen and make some food. I'm gonna start with about three cups of fresh hawthorn berries. Wash them in nice cold water. And next we're gonna boil them in half a cup of water and half a cup of apple cider vinegar. My favorite is the Bragg raw apple cider vinegar. You'll also need black cherry juice, raw honey, about a quarter cup of each, and then some spices, so salt, pepper, a pinch of cayenne, pinch of nutmeg, allspice and cinnamon. We've got them boiling here on the stove. You want to boil about half an hour until the skin split. When they've cooled after the boiling, you want to add them to a food mill, probably on the small setting, just to make sure you don't get the seeds. Put them through the food mill and you'll get some juice. The pulp will stay on the top. If you want to make ketchup, you can take some of the pulp from underneath the blade and put it in with the juice. Next, add your quarter cup of raw honey to the mixture. It'll definitely melt in this hot solution. So you mix it all up in there, stir it really well. And then add whatever spices you'd like to add the flavor to your sauce. And once again, we're just going to stir it up with a spoon, just until it's mixed. Yeah, no, it wasn't that spicy, so I'm going to add a bit more cayenne. And we'll boil it down until it's syrupy. You don't want it too thin because it will thicken in the fridge. If it gets too thick, add a bit of the cherry juice. When it's to your liking, put it in hot sterilized jars and seal them for use for later. Don't forget to clean the edge of the jar before putting the lid on. And remember to tighten the lid just finger tight. There it is, it's been cooled in the fridge now for about a day for the flavors to meld and look at that texture. That's perfect for my wing sauce. For the wings, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay them out on a tray you can line the tray if you want or not. I ended up taking the liner off, I wasn't too happy with it. So we'll lay them all out here on the tray and we're going to put a bit of the sauce that we made over top of the chicken just to ah, get a little bit crispy and really flavorful. We'll add a bit more sauce towards the end. There, it's all done. Now let's pop it in the oven at about 400 until they're cooked to an internal temperature of about 170 Fahrenheit. Let's open it up and check. Oh yeah, looks really good. Oh yeah. Now what we're gonna do is add a bit more of the sauce to the little wings there. I like my wings nice and sticky. There's lots of extra sauce, so be generous and just toss it up there with the tongs to make sure all surfaces are covered. And now we're gonna get ready to plate supper. So I've got a bit of salad and a potato. I'm gonna add some wings. It's looking really, really good. This recipe is fairly small, but you can make a double batch. All right, it's supper time. Let's give this a try. It's looking good, nice and sticky, just how I like my wings. Mmm. Mmm. That's amazing. Nice and sweet. You can definitely taste the hawthorn in there and the honey. So it's sweet and spicy. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Nice and juicy. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's little recipe and adventure in the kitchen. Lots of stuff you can do with hawthorn berries. Hope you guys have a great week. Take care.